Now we know that whatever the law says, it says to those who are under the law, so that every mouth may be silenced and the whole world held accountable to God. Therefore, no one will be declared righteous in his sight by observing the law. Rather, through the law, we become conscious of sin. From that time on, Jesus began to preach, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. Digging in his word Consider what I'm getting from his person and his work Now I'm ready for what's coming Cause some folks they go berserk They ain't ready for what's coming Cause their sins it ain't been purged Why you think I take the word to the streets where people be Cause the great commission's given So I go stand and speak Christ crucified and risen But that boast landed me In this hostile environment With these folks mad at me Spoke the gospel They ain't like it Though my motives was blameless I was patient I was gracious Seasoning salt I could taste it but they ain't trying to embrace it no. But I kept on standing I kept in mind when my brother said Can you imagine belief in Christ and you suffer They both been green <laughs> That must have fanned my flames Felt like it lit my lantern Start thinking early church I'm talking Roman candles What Christian persecution Was like a rite of passage Go, dance, speak How they gon' believe and see they need Bless you preach That's why you need to go Cause love is our aim, so make it plain in your speech We take it to the streets, to the burbs and the nations Preach the word and seek the Lord who can save them We telling you to go, we telling you to go We telling you to go, we telling you to go we live in a day where cats is getting so comfortable You think Jesus was joking and he was leading the Huxtables Calling our men to repent and you just chilling comfy, yo Paul had preached the gospel to people with stones they love to throw yeah. It's frustrating, man, get up out the pews Won't you be like paper boys? Go deliver the news <laughs> If Christ you claim, your life he changed Just rep his name to die is gain Go make that revenue See your mission from God's perspective, yeah, that's heaven's view You calling men to turn away from everything they ever knew the God Gospel's got more power than any nuclear weapons do So preach the message about Jesus Christ that you're accepted through Come on. The Lord is testing you, Come on. the crowd's suppressing you Come on. They start neglecting truth, yeah. somebody step to you His gun on his waist, uh, now up in your face uh, Gonna die for the faith, it's all by his grace Now that's incredible Go, stay, speak How they gon' believe and see they need Bless you preach, that's why you need to go Stay, speak Cause love is our aim, so make it plain in your speech We take it to the streets, to the burbs and the nations Preach the word and seek the Lord who can save them We telling you to go, we telling you to go We telling you to go, we telling you to go Stay in your speech Hey, picture him kissing his children goodbye Knowing the risk he's taking, they may never see him alive Cause drifting back to his wife in the distance He hears a cries, but he keeps marching and trusting his family God if he dies And they may mourn, but He's already grieved in the spirit Cause it's clear that his community's deceived And the emperor's decree makes it illegal to preach On city streets, but he feels the spirit's leading to speak See, the great commission's intercontinental But it begins in your hometown Where God has sent you From the young boy in the streets speaking truth To the team overseas in Lima, Peru Go to the corner, staying where the traffic is Speak the word of God and hit your knees And pray they flee the red This is protocol for the Kingdom where my believers at Go stand, speak, and continue until the king is back Go stand, speak How they gon' believe and see they need Bless you preach That's why you need to go Stand, speak Cause love is our aim So make it plain in your speech We take it 
to the streets, to the verbs and the nations. Preach the word and seek the Lord who can save them. We telling you to go, we telling you to go, we telling you to go, we telling you to go. Stand, go, stand, speak. How they gon' believe and see they need bless you preach? That's why you need to go, stand, speak. Cause love is our aim, so make it plain in your speech We take it to the streets, to the verbs and the nations Preach the word and seek the Lord who can save them We telling you to go, we telling you to go We telling you to go, we telling you to go For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. How then can they call on the one they have not believed in? And how can they believe in the one whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? And how can they preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. But not all the Israelites accepted the good news, for Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed our message? Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message, and the message is heard through the word of Christ. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hates the light, and neither comes to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved, or that means discovered. But he that does truth comes to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. There is a day coming when every person ever created in the image of God is going to be resurrected from the dead. And those who are still living will also be gathered together and there will be a judgment time. There will be a time that you and I, every person ever born, stands before the throne of God. Don't forget this is coming. Don't forget this is a day that is still ahead of us. Every knee will bow. Then I saw a great white throne, and him who was seated on it. Earth and sky fled from his presence, and there was no place for them. And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne, and books were opened. Another book was opened, which is the book of life. The dead were judged according to what they had done, as recorded in the books. The sea gave up the dead that were in it, and death and Hades gave up the dead that were in them. And each person was judged according to what he had done. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is the second death. If anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. A razor here, a Bible here. We'll talk about the Bible in a second. And I'm wondering how many people here would be willing to take fifty dollars, fifty bucks right now, to have your all the hair on your head shaved off by this? How about a hundred? You sir, a thousand, a thousand dollars. That's right. But you know what? I've never found anybody that'd be willing to lose their eyesight for any amount of money. But you know what Jesus said in Matthew nine? He said, "If your eye offends you, pluck it out." For it would be better for you to enter into heaven with one eye than to have both eyes and go into hell. I mean, no, this guy's just so harsh and unloving. The Bible says that, that God is love, and I don't get how him being everyone's faces is doing that, you know? Uh, going to the streets is a litmus test. Uh, uh, what is my heart like? How can I see thousands, millions of people perish and, and not go to them. We must. We must go to them because they're not going to come to us. You know, believe it or not, one of the best responses to this particular objection was offered by the famous magician Penn Gillette, who's also a well-known, outspoken atheist and also familiar with some of the stuff he's done. Incredibly 
blasphemous, no friend of Christianity at all. But he posted a video on YouTube where he talked about how Christians, if they really believed in a literal hell, uh, that they absolutely must do all that they can to radically warn people about it. And in fact, if they don't do things like shout their message from the housetops, he has no respect for them at all. And I've always said, you know, that I, I don't respect people who go prostitutes. No respect that at all. If you believe that there's a heaven and hell, and people could be going to hell or not getting eternal life or whatever, and you think that, uh, well, it's not really worth telling them this because it would make it socially awkward. How much do you have to hate somebody to not proselytize? How much do you have to hate somebody to believe that everlasting life is possible and not tell them that? I mean, if I believe, to be honest, shut up without that a truck was coming at you and you didn't believe it, so that truck was bearing down on you, there's a certain point where I tackled you. And this is more important than that.